This week, we're going to take a look at the price volatility that we see on the day that the USDA releases its prospective plantings and grain stocks reports at the end of March. We're also going to take a look at updated export trends for corn, as well as the latest weather patterns in Brazil. Hi, this is Brian Bastine with Advanced Trading. Let's talk about the corn market. We've moved into the final days of March here, and there's some important information coming out from the USDA on March 31st. On that date, the USDA will release two reports, prospective plantings, which will give us our first survey-based estimates of 2022 acreage, and on the same day, the quarterly grain stocks report is released. We want to start out this week looking at trends in old and new crop corn futures on the date that those reports are released. Now what we did with this chart was highlight old crop May corn futures in the blue bar and new crop December corn futures in the red bar, the change from the previous day on the day that the USDA releases those two reports. Here's the key message. A lot of volatility potentially on the day that these reports are released. Last year, for example, the market closed limit up in both old and new crop. However, look at some of those past years. We've also seen some sharp moves to the downside on that day. The key thing is to work closely with your trusted risk management advisor to be prepared prior to the release of these reports with your risk management strategy. And I'll add that we're going to have a live update next week after the release of the reports on March 31st. Let's move on now and focus on trends in U.S. corn export sales. We're going to start out this week looking at the unshipped book of U.S. corn. Now, we're looking at the last several weeks here. Here's the key message. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has really reverberated throughout the world grain markets. The key message for the U.S., it's really resulted in a bump in U.S. corn export sales of old crop. And we're seeing that here the last couple weeks. Let's move on now and focus on the trends in regions across the, the uh, spectrum here. We're looking at the third highest level of unshipped book of U.S. corn for this time of year ever. And that pace is actually increasing, as I mentioned a moment ago. What I want to do now is highlight, however, that there's 379 million bushels between the unknown category and what's left on the books to China. And it'll be critical to monitor what happens to those bushels over the next several weeks. Uh, we could see some cancellations. We could see some of that roll to new crop. Or maybe all those bushels will be shipped. It remains to be seen, but it will have a market impact. Let's switch gears now and take a look at where that corn is grown in Brazil. Now, we'll continue to monitor this closely for you the next couple of months. This is the second season or double crop corn in Brazil. Uh, north to south, the largest producing state is Mato Grosso in the north, but it does go all the way far south to Parana. Let's take a look at the short-term weather trends for those key states. Our slides this week, as usual, are courtesy of T-Storm Weather. We'll start out here looking at the last 30 days, a proxy for subsoil moisture, if you will. Notice there really isn't any area across that whole north to south region that's either too wet or too dry. Same thing for our 60-day uh, deep subsoil map here. A lot of good moisture that we received over the winter time here in the north, and now they've caught some good rains further south. So that crop is off to a fine start for the uh, early double crop uh, corn. Let's look at the forecast for the next 14 days. Again, picture the corn here maybe around the 1st of June here and uh, across the central heart of the Midwest. We're really looking at some good rainfall, average rainfall, not too much, a little bit more rainfall across the south, but that's the area that could still benefit from that. Let's wrap things up this week looking at trends in December corn futures. And we continue to see December corn futures here charge higher. It's currently trading at the highest level ever for late March near $6.70 a bushel. Strongly encourage you to work closely with your trusted risk management advisor to manage new crop production. Now, if you'd like more information, please feel free to contact us at 800-664-2321. We'll put you in contact with one of our risk management consultants who'll be happy to visit with you at your convenience. And remember, we upload every Wednesday. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to never miss an update. And remember, next week, you can follow us on YouTube at 11.20 Central Time for a live recap of the March 31st USDA reports. Thanks a lot. Have a good week.